the eerily empty streets of Wuhan in the Hubei province. It is a city now in lockdown as it battles to contain a new virus never seen in humans before. But it emerged just hours ago that before the authorities introduced measures to stop the spread of the novel coronavirus, five million people managed to leave. And China's National Health Commission said today the virus's ability to transmit was getting stronger. From our observation, the disease can be spread during the incubation period. The incubation period lasts for 10 days, the shortest one day, the longest is 14 days. Officially, 56 people have died so far and more than 2,000 have been infected, mostly in the Hubei province. Many experts, however, believe those numbers are likely to be far higher and there remains uncertainty about the path this virus will take. One of the potentially hopeful things about this infection is that certainly from the early case reports that we've seen, people don't tend to have the runny nose and sneezing and sore throat symptoms, which are often for many respiratory infections, the first things that actually are the most efficient ways of spreading the, the infection. Those who venture out wear masks and people are stocking up while they can. Nobody knows how long the quarantine imposed by the authorities will continue. The pneumonia-like illness is caused by this new form of coronavirus, but it's not clear where it has come from. One theory is that it started in bats, they harbor coronaviruses, before jumping into mammals, possibly wild animals being sold at Wuhan fish market, and from them it moved into humans. Today, the Chinese authorities announced a temporary ban on the trade of wild animals, threatening to severely investigate and punish anyone who violates this. This is just one of a raft of desperate measures to try and contain the outbreak. Transport links to Wuhan have been cut off. Driving in the city's downtown has been banned. Instead, 6,000 taxis will help people move around. And a lockdown has been extended to surrounding cities. 50 million people are affected. While Wuhan remains the epicenter with the largest number of cases, there are patients across China now, and it has spread to Hong Kong and elsewhere in Asia, as well as to the United States, Australia, France, and now Canada, where a man in his 50s who traveled from Wuhan has tested positive. Three countries have now said they will get their citizens out of Wuhan, but the Foreign Office here has said it is still looking at all options. This morning they sent out um, an advisory on the travel advisory uh, to say that basically we advise against all travel to Hubei and anybody that's in Hubei to get out. Now, to me, that shows a huge lack of understanding on the situation here. We cannot get out of the city. We cannot get out of Hubei. There is no vaccine and no antiviral treatment, so it's face masks, millions of them, suddenly at the forefront in the efforts to fight this virus.